All right, guys, so after two hours of team training, and I did do an hour of nogi with my friend Abby before that, I finished off this beautiful Sunday with a hit circuit with my boyfriend. So as you saw previous in this slide, um, these are the four exercises we did back to back. It was literally killer, especially after three hours of training, but that's how you become a champion, by pushing through. So regardless, I did alternating slams followed by overhead swings with knee tucks into deadlifts. So enjoy this workout, guys. If you do try it, make sure that you let me know. You can hit me up on Instagram or comment below in the YouTube video. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you like this and want to see more. And I will see you guys in the next clip. Thanks for watching. Everybody. So real quick, I know my vlog kind of skips out a few days and it's pretty much because Friday and Saturday I was super busy with just like the gym and work and everything. I really didn't have time to vlog and really there wasn't really anything exciting except the training that you've been seeing. Um, so I'll just kind of sum it up right here. Friday I pretty much worked at the hospital. After that I had to come right back and start teaching classes. And essentially, that's just pretty much what the whole night was, and I was doing work, so I didn't really get a chance to vlog it, and it really wasn't that interesting. <laughs> Saturday was my rest day, so I just kind of did some things in the city, hung out with the boys. We went shopping a little bit. We went dancing at a club later that night. Um, don't worry, I didn't drink alcohol. But we pretty much did that, and I kind of wanted to enjoy the moment because I've been busy with vlogging and just preparing for these tournaments and training that I just really wanted to relax a little bit. So I didn't uh, film any of that, but I did film Sunday as you are seeing, and I will get back to vlogging and stuff. And I think I'm going to start adding some tips and things in these vlogs to kind of help you with when you're like training and nutrition during, if you're doing any kind of tournaments or any kind of uh, working towards a goal of something. So it's not just, kind of a day in a life, but there's still some educational pieces in the vlogs because, you know, that's my heart and that's what I really love doing. So hope you guys are liking the vlog so far. If you are, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next clip. Thanks, guys. <laughs> up. I'm going to have my vegan chicken salad. I always eat some snap peas to dip that in and two eggs made with some vegan butter. A lot of protein. Hey guys, so a lot of you guys always ask me about recipes and stuff like that, so this isn't really necessarily like a step-by-step -step recipe, it's very easy to, for everybody to make, but I wanted to share this with you guys because this is John and I's, one of our favorite things to prepare, so it's super easy. And this is just a really simple taco salad, um, so essentially it's just going to be low carb because we're not necessarily using... Um, like all of the tortillas although we do have that option on the table that I wanted to show you if you guys do want that option um, there so I'm going to show you this we are going to for vegetables we are going to be using this lettuce uh, we're just going to be chopping this up finely and just using this as our base we are also going to be using cilantro because obviously that's a staple in any kind of like Mexican kind of dish so we're going to be chopping that up to add flavor some other toppings we're going to be doing, we're going to be chopping up this tomato. We have already pre-chopped onion and we have like sliced black olives. These are one of our staples we love to use. Um, so I definitely recommend getting them if you're going to do this kind of style. As far as the meat for the dish, we use this Morning Star vegetarian meat crumble. It's 75% less fat than ground beef. So this is obviously less fat. And it's pretty high protein and low carb, so it's good for dieting. All kind of vegan, um, like mock meats, are going to have some kind of carb because they're made from um, like tofu or a soy, which is made from carbs. So um, you're going to have a little bit of carbs in there, but still, it's better than, in my opinion, eating meat because you know I'm a little bit biased about that. <laughs> but so we're going to do this, and essentially, we got a 
taco seasoning mix, which is 25% less sodium. All pre-made seasoning mixes are gonna be high in salt, so to make a healthier option, you just wanna choose less sodium. So we're gonna be cooking that together just to be making this Mexican style dish. We also have these black beans that we pretty much just got in a can, and we're just gonna heat them up to put a little bit on top of the salad. Let's add some iron in there and we're gonna season them. Black beans are high in iron, so this is gonna add that aspect to the dish, but it also just really adds bulk to it, and it's just another vegetarian protein source. If you aren't maybe fond of these kind of crumbles, that is a vegetarian protein source. This also has that healthy, complex carb as well. Um, so that's gonna be something we're gonna add, and then of course, you can never have anything Mexican or anything Ever without avocado because avocado makes life better. So we're just going to today slice, this, slice these up and just use them on the side, but generally we do like to make guacamole and we pretty much use these same ingredients when we do that. We just, you know, mash it instead of slice it, but today we're just going to slice it. Um, John is not, um, John does do dairy products, so some things that he likes to add as well is just like some sharp cheddar on top, just some sour cream. For vegans, you can also use like a vegan uh, yogurt uh, like the ones I've showed you in previous videos, as a sour cream, if you get plain versions, even Greek yogurt, it's a lower fat option and it's also um, a little bit healthier in, from that standpoint if you're worried about that. So those are just alternatives to regular sour cream if you're interested in that. But of course, we're also gonna be using our taco sauce to season and so these are the um, wraps that we're gonna use if you wanna use that as an option. Um, so these are just mission, car balance, they're just pretty much higher in fiber, so it shows you here that they're 19 grams of carbs, but the 15 grams of fiber you subtract, so your net carbs is four grams. So pretty much just make sure that um, you have regular bowel movements. <laughs> but you can use these as an option as well. Remember, get six inch, not 12 inch, because if you get a larger amount, you're more likely to eat a larger amount, which means more carbs, more calories, and it's going to inhibit your weight loss goals. Um, so in the meantime, John's actually gonna prepare all of this, because he's awesome. <laughs> but, um, in the meantime, I'm going to be actually making roasted vegetables with a butternut squash, some yams or sweet potatoes, and some beets. And we're going to roast these. I'm making a lot because we're going to put some in the salad just for like an extra carb source and just to add those micronutrients they provide. Um, but also, I want these just prepared. It's kind of like a, a double whammy. You're going to prepare this so I have some, you know, something to snack on throughout the week that's a little bit healthier and healthy carbs for energy. So that's what we're gonna be doing, and stay tuned when we show you some of the steps and show you the result. All right guys, so here's some of the little prepared stuff that John did. We just got the cilantro ready, the olives, the onion, the lettuce. Um, we're gonna be cooking up the meat, but because the roasted vegetables take a while, we're kind of getting that in there first um, before we do all this, because this stuff's the easy stuff. And we also sliced up our avocado. So uh, the roasted vegetables, our mistake on our part was I should have roasted these earlier in the day because they do take longer when you roast them start to finish because they're really dense in carbohydrates and just in general they're a very dense vegetable. To speed up the cooking, you can always use the microwave because the microwave what it does is it cooks food from the inside out which is why we can cook food so quickly and it's completely cooked. So it's, it's kind of like a cooking tip when you're short on time. That's why people use the microwave a lot because it cooks food fast. So if you're in a situation like this where you kind of wait too late to cook roasted vegetables and everything else doesn't take as long um, and you maybe don't have the time to wait for the roasted vegetables to cook, then you can do a little hack where you just cook the vegetables, chop it up small because that also increases the surface area, helps heat to get throughout the vegetables, cooks it faster. So you can do that as well as microwave it and that'll increase the time so you can decrease the time when you're roasting it. So long story short, we are pretty much... Uh, we did microwave this for a few minutes just to kind of pre-cook these a little bit. We're going to put olive oil, salt, pepper, and thyme, and a very mild kind of typical roasted um, root vegetable dish. But that's all we're going to do. The oven's pre-cooked to 420, and then we're going to cook these babies in there for a little bit as John starts to prepare the rest of the meat and everything with the taco seasoning. So I'll see you guys at the final product. So here's the final product of the roasted vegetables. You can really tell that the olive oil really cooked them down. They look so bomb. So amazing. But this is everything prepared and chopped up. The meat is prepared with sauteed onions as well as the taco seasoning. And then we're just going to prep it all into our little bowl.
and voila! Alright, so this is um, my salad and how I decided to prepare it. Disclaimer, I'm most likely going to mix this all together and eat it because that's how I personally like to eat food, but obviously you can eat it any way you want. But I did want to talk about it real quick because as I always post about and talk about um, just how to tell if you're making a complete healthy balanced meal and you want to have your fats, carbs, and protein and you want to have your vegetables and stuff for the fiber. So, um, so what these, this pretty much is, encompasses everything I kind of talk about. So I always talk about eating half of your plate with vegetables and essentially this is exactly that as I tried to divide the plate to show you guys that. So you can see that the entire half of the plate has all these different kinds of vegetables providing different nutrients. Um, I also put a protein on top of that because I'm always trying to get my protein in. Um, as well as the beans have the protein as well. So your protein is going to be about a quarter of your plate, which mine's about a little bit more than that, but that's because I want more protein. Um, for starches, we recommend doing fourth of the plate. So here you have those uh, roasted vegetables. They're all root vegetables, very complex carbs. Um, so that's going to be really, really good to provide energy and just as a healthy carb source. So that's going to be one fourth of the plate. And then of course, I have my sliced avocado here on the side. And that's going to be that healthy fat that provides omega-3s for your brain health. So this is a nutrient-dense dish. I am so, so excited to eat this. I cannot wait. And you better believe that you're going to be full after eating this. So it's one of the biggest misconceptions when it comes to eating vegetarian is that you feel like, oh, I'm just eating a salad. I'm going to starve. And I've been there. I thought that. But honestly, like, if you... Have, be creative with different foods and vegetables and ideas that it can be a lot more fun and just more enjoyable especially if you're like doing with somebody like um like your loved one or a friend you also develop like a relationship and a bond <laughs> because it's just something fun to do as well as like living a healthy lifestyle and you will be full after eating this let me tell you all the fiber um is really gonna fill you up so i'm gonna go stuff my belly and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you guys next time.